what I can tell you. As well, we use a preparation called Mariatoun. Mm. Madame Mariatoun, it's a woman, she's uh, 80 years old. We met her three years ago. She lives in Germany. Mm -hmm. She spent all her life to work on the course, one paragraph of the course of agriculture of Rudolf Steiner. So you imagine how it is. <laughs> So even for us, it's very difficult to understand everything he has written. And by in that paragraph, she realized, uh, by that paragraph and by <coughs> her experimentation, she realized that uh, you have a cycle in relation with the position of the planet. And she, for that, she planted at the beginning radish every day. And she looked at the same area and she looked at the position of the planet and she realized that some days the radish were, was uh, full, was uh, like a pepper, was bitter, uh, was small, was long. So after all that conclusion she realized and she noticed that you have a cycle with uh, in function of the position of the planet you have a day interesting for the plant with leaves with a plant with fruit, with a plant with uh, flower, and with uh, a root plant. And some day, some days it's better to do nothing in your vineyard or on the plants. For us, the important moment, it's of course we want to obtain a fruit. So when we spray the preparation, if it's possible, of course, we spray the preparation in fruit day. But of course, if we have a big mistral like we can have here often, of course we don't spray. It's not a question to spray for our brain, it's a question of spray because it's, it's good for the vines or for the soil. So everything that you, it's a technique, a philosophic maybe technique, but we keep our feet into the ground. So we are first farmer. We are first in relation with the vines. The vines live in that earth like us. If we can, to magnify the preparation, we use the fruit days. Even when we bottle the wine, we prefer bottle the wine when the moon descends, rather than the moon up. Why? Because you keep the aromas into your bottle, into your wine, not in your cellar. So you see, when you understand a little bit how the moon, the stars interfere with our life, so with the vegetable, you can just by logic, try to see what is the best solution for each problem or each thing that you do, that you are doing. Example, the best way should be to harvest only in fruit day. In September, because harvest is always in September, we have I think five days of fruit days. We harvest during one month. Impossible to harvest in four days. First, because you need a big team, it could be possible, or use a machine, it could be possible, even if you prefer to use to have people with us. But the grapes are not ripe at the same moment. So in fact, the, the important point is to have a grape ripe, to make a good wine. So you must, all, we have all the time, um, we must find all the time, and it's a very important word, balance. We try the balance, like for life. We try all the time the balance in our life. We try all the time the balance for everything. It's the same. When you know that we live, the plants live between two forces, the forces of the sky, the forces of the earth, and you must find the link between all that part. So with some preparations of biodynamic preparation, you help the roots go down deeper in your subsoil. Why? To obtain the effect of your terroir. What is the terroir? Of course, it's a clay, it depends on what you have as a subsoil. But if you don't have no, any microorganisms because your soil is not alive, you can't have the effect of your terroir. Because now, uh, a scientist called Mr. Bourguignon explained and showed that if you don't have the microorganisms around the roots, you don't have the exchange with the roots and the soil. So a soil without life, no effect of the terroir. Even you have the, the better and the beautiful soil that you can have in the world. You must have a, a soil alive. So we spray some preparation to prepare the soil. And we start in November with the biodynamic culture.